When I was watching the news and I was looking at the pictures and the videos coming from Haiti, and then when I saw the National Palace completely collapsed, that was a, a very big emotional shock for me. Coming here to, to study earthquake engineering, the idea was initially to, to get the knowledge and bring it back home. One of the very first things that I thought of was, okay, I, I didn't have enough time. The last earthquakes of any significance that actually destroyed Port-au-Prince was in 1751, you know, almost uh, 250 years ago. So buildings were not designed with any kinds of seismic design in mind. Well, the platform I'm standing on right now is one of our earthquake simulator. We have two of them. With this very large piston, we're able to control the motion of this platform in all directions. And the purpose of this is to uh, anchor structure, buildings, bridges, so we can subject these components to the actual motion that it would experience in the real earthquake. So the United Nations uh, sends a general request for an immediate need for French-speaking structural engineers to come and help. And we felt a little bit overwhelmed at the beginning because nothing was organized. So one of the first tasks that was given to our group uh, was to organize a building assessment procedure on behalf of the UN. You need to start somewhere. You need to re-enter and reuse those buildings. It's absolutely impossible to rebuild a country where people are sleeping outside. We visited many hospitals that were fine. You would have people being treated, you know, under, in, in the heat, on the street of Port-au-Prince, yet their hospitals were okay. So our job was to say, look, you need to go in and use it at some point. A team immediately afterwards overlapped with us, another group of engineers came, and to this day, this process is ongoing. Imagine this as being part of a, of a bridge. We want to be able to have an element that can deform without collapsing, without breaking. I think a person like him, getting the proper training, the proper education, is going to be key going back to his country and applying his knowledge for his own people in his country. This is an occasion also at the same time to change of paradigm, to change our way of doing things and to, to move forward.